our refrigerator. So I'm got, I, I basically took most of what's in my fridge and laid it out here to give you an idea of what's in my refrigerator every single week. Now I'm going to start with the fresh stuff. Um, and now more than ever in our lives, my grocery cart and my refrigerator are full of fresh foods. Leafy, crisp, green, colorful um, vegetables. But I want to note that um, these vegetables are tend to be seasonal because things are grown at different times of the year and so they get more expensive when they're not being commonly grown. And so you've just got to go with um, what's it within your budget what's available and try to buy things seasonally remember frozen is always a second best option so don't go to canned and don't go to boxed go to frozen if you can't get a hold of something fresh okay so for my refrigerator this week um, lots of delicious meals planned we've got baby bok choy bok choy is our new favorite around here for stir fries and um, different types of dishes that we've been making I have a Thai chicken um, baby bok choy recipe on the blog for you to try. Um, I've always got broccoli. I like to eat broccoli raw and cooked. So broccoli is always available in my refrigerator. Fresh kale. Um, this is organic. A lot of times the organic is just as affordable as the other options. Um, kale is wonderful within your smoothies or to put it in a fresh salad as part of the greenery or um, to saute it with um, apple cider vinegar and and you know lemon or um, just however you want to serve kale. Kale is wonderful. Very flexible vegetable. I always have fresh herbs. This is parsley and I usually always have cilantro as well. Um, and I use them within dishes and I make them into their own dishes like salsas and side dishes. I, I make tabbouleh a lot with parsley. Um, baby spinach is a mainstay in this house and should be in your refrigerator. Baby spinach and kale should both show up often because they are so easy to throw a handful into any smoothie you're making. It doesn't have to be a green smoothie. I use our very nutty smoothie recipe and I always put a couple of handfuls of baby spinach or kale into my smoothie in the morning. Get a good head start on those vegetable servings. A new favorite around here has been our Brussels sprouts. That's been a new one. Great recipe on the blog for that. Fresh cucumber is always available because it's great in salads, within dishes, or just slice it up and serve with vinegar or a little bit of salt even, or ranch. Fresh, fresh cucumber is wonderful. We love our portobellos around here. We're going to turn these into vegetarian steaks with some cheese on them and some baby spinach. But we always usually have the baby bells with us. Um, I like to buy some, it depends on the choice, some ready-made salads. So consider that as a great go-to option for a quick lunch, quick snack. Um, we've always got some kind of fresh fruit. Did I already talk about the mini sweets? Um, these are my mini sweet bell peppers. I use these constantly. I use them in pasta salad chopped up. I saute them with onions for fajita. I put them in salads. I'm always using these. Um, my kids will eat them raw. They'll just crunch into them and eat them like a snack. Cauliflower is a big one because we can roast it, we can eat it raw, we can steam it. Cauliflower is wonderfully flexible. I make it with a lot of garlic and the kids actually like it. Um, so fresh watermelon, big one around here because my kids are big fruit eaters and um, that's a great way for them to get their fiber and all that healthy sugar that their body needs for energy. Another one, fresh strawberries. These are on sale right now so we'll see these often in our fridge. And then for seasonings, I always have garlic, whether I have it in my pantry or whether I have it ready to crush or mince or um, press it down for the dishes that I'm using it in. But I use it in almost everything I cook, raw and cooked, because it's so good for our bodies. It's such a great taste. It makes everything taste good. And the family has gotten very used to it now. And they really love the taste of garlic. So I always have that. Um, this one is a little more of an optional. It's capers. I like to use it with chicken dishes, especially crock pot dishes. It's a great way to add a salty taste to your dishes without actually using salt. So consider adding capers into your um, grocery list. Spicy brown or any kind of mustard. Mustards are wonderful because there's nothing um, harmful in them. There's nothing that is unhealthy in them. They're so healthy and they contain healthy ingredients. So it's a great way to season up your food. 
Um, in the pantry segment, we talked about vinegars, so I'm not going to go through those again, but in my fridge right now, you can find apple cider vinegar opened, you can find um, low sodium soy sauce and seasonings like that as well, okay? As well as the low sugar ketchup. I went ahead and added those to the pantry um, segment, but remember after you've opened them, you'll most likely be refrigerating them, okay? Um, as far as dairy, we get very little in the dairy department anymore. Um, we actually use almond milk, coconut milk, or rice milk instead. I do occasionally have milk on hand for the couple of picky eaters who I haven't been able to completely get them off. Um, but for the most part, we don't like to do dairy milk. We, use, we like to do plant milk. We also prefer Greek yogurt over sour cream and all of the extra heavy creams. Um, Greek yogurt, I use it, the plain, I use it to make... Um, uh, dips, sauces, um, I use it within dishes, but we also use it in our smoothies. So the Greek yogurt is a mainstay around here. These varieties are for the fun um, snack. You know, we need an energy snack. The kids need something to pack or eat. Um, we love these 100 calorie Greek yogurts from YoPlay because they only have seven grams of sugar. So many flavors, uh, makes it so easy on us. We always have hummus. This is the red pepper hummus um, that I buy from a local store. Um, but any flavor hummus is great. Hummus is such a great snack. It's high in protein. It's lean and everything else. It's clean. So if you're really trying to eat clean and clean up your refrigerator, have hummus on hand. Eat it with your veggies or seed crackers or as a um, spread on your wraps, okay? Um, the cheese sticks, they are a mainstay around here. My kids are big dairy lovers, so I had to make some compromises, and so we still have cheese sticks around here, and they get to have um, one a day, if, if one a day. So this will last us quite a while, but um, we use this as a, as a snack. Always we have eggs. We always have eggs. So um, we have usually a couple dozen to several dozen in the fridge at a time. We boil them, we scramble them, we fry them, we add them to our dishes. This is a big one around here. And then uh, reduced sugar jelly for the littles. They still want those peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. We tend to, um, I don't have it here to show you, but we use a whole wheat bread. And the girls still like this with um, peanut butter or alone. So we do have that. And it is half the sugar, so it's really low. Um, one of my favorite new discoveries is this ranch dressing or any of the dressings from the Simply Dressed line from uh, Marzetti. And this is just a great option if you like ranch. For us, that's how we always usually have a veggie tray or a homemade veggie tray. And that's how the kids and I really prefer to eat our veggies is dipped in ranch. So I figure it's worth the compromise to get more vegetables, fresh vegetables, into our diet. So this is, this is a taste of what you will find in my fridge. Sometimes there is going to be chicken pulled out ready for the night's dinner. Usually the meats that we enjoy are fish, seafood, chicken, ground turkey, and occasionally a little bit of bacon as a flavoring or bacon um, within a dish. Um, or very occasionally we'll have all beef, um, non-nitrite, non-nitrate hot dogs. So we do do those occasionally as a treat, maybe once a month or less. Um, but usually you're going to find chicken, fish, seafood, you know, and all the lean, clean meats. We're really not a big meat-eating family. Occasionally there's some red meat going on, whether it's a stew in the crock pot or um, a steak for a stir-fry or something like that. So this is a sampling of what you will find in my refrigerator um, as long as I'm staying within the eating clean guidelines. And this week we did really well with getting our fresh veggies lined up. So spring clean your fridge. Begin removing one thing by one thing. Um, the things that don't belong there, the things that are derailing you or keeping you from making the best choices and begin adding in. You don't have to do like a revamp right off the bat. Just start adding them in. Um, the things that you need to have on hand so that you will make the better choices on a regular basis. This has been Coach Bess, the Fresh Start um, program, and I am so excited to bring you our spring cleaning series um, on the blog and within the community. So stay tuned, there's more coming.